Hi agriculturists, welcome back to Growing Roots in Agriculture. In today's video, I want to dedicate this video on educating you all on how to treat pests and disease on your plants organically without using any type of industrialized or synthesized products from your big box stores. As you all know, when it comes to dedicating your time in the garden to growing your own food, especially fruit trees, herbs, and vegetables, but sometimes it can happen to ornamentals as well. We deal with multiple different pests and diseases that could get become a problem in the garden. And so like my whole goal is to educate you all the best way possible on how to do gardening in the most organic way possible. I try to go ahead and move away and push aside industrialized products or synthesized products like pesticides or insecticides that are used in a daily at home gardener's life for treating pests like Wi-Fi as well as scale and different other insects and pests that tend to come after plants. Well, I'm here to discuss with you guys about how to organically treat your trees, your flowers, whatever you're growing or whatever problem you're dealing with, how to treat the pest and disease organically with a very affordable product. And this product is the Mexican soap, Sote. This soap is not only used to wash clothes, etc. If not, it's also used in the garden as well. Because this soap bar right here is used to go and help plants combat pests and diseases that they're dealing with. So not only is this soap great to combat pests and diseases in the garden, but it's very, very affordable. You can usually find this soap at any Mexican or Hispanic store out there, or you can also purchase it online. It's super, super affordable and it's great to use in the garden. And surprisingly, you don't use very much in the garden to help your plants. This video, I'll be dedicating this video on how to prepare a solution with the Mexican bar sote to help your plants benefit from it without using any synthesized products from big box stores. So let's go ahead and jump right into the first step. Step number one is to cut it up into fine pieces. You don't want to get this huge bar of soap and just put it into water because there is a curing process we have to do later on, which I'll explain later on in the video. But you want to cut it up into pieces to speed up the curing time. So you want to make sure you don't use the entire bar because when it comes to the solution we're making, it's usually one part soap and two parts water. So most of the solution is made up of water and very little soap. So I won't be even using a third of this soap, if not probably a fourth of this soap, for the plants I'll be spraying today. So this is how the bar of soap looks like. I did not know it was gonna be this vibrant. So, so out of this entire bar of soap, I'm gonna be using a fourth of it. So this is what I'm gonna cut up. So right here, I cut it up into little cubes. So now let's go ahead and move on to the next step. So here comes the, what I call the curing process. So it's not really a curing process. If not, is we have to dissolve the soap to like liquid because in order for the materials that makes up the soap to be effective and actually help the plants combat the pests and diseases, we have to dissolve this completely. So we can't have any particles or chunks in there. That's why it's recommended to cut it up into pieces. So now you're gonna go ahead and grab a bowl with water in it. Doesn't matter what type of water it is, just make sure it's clean water. Then you're gonna go ahead and put your soap in there. So now you're gonna have to go ahead and start getting ready to take some time to start dissolving it because it's gonna take some time. So let me go ahead and dissolve this completely and then we're gonna go ahead and catch this back up when our solution is starting to get ready to go ahead and be put together and then we'll discuss about how to use it in the garden. So here I have my Petra Tools HD 3000 sprayer and so I'm going to go ahead and fill up the third of this with the suds of the soap and then the rest of the way we're going to be filling it up with water. So let me go ahead and do that. And so now we're ready to treat the plants that are dealing with these pests and diseases. So we went ahead and showed you already what you should do with step one, which is cut up the pieces of the bar of soap. Then you're gonna go ahead and dissolve them in water. It is gonna take a little bit of time, but it's worth it at the end. So dissolve everything in water. Then you're gonna go ahead and fill up your preferred sprayer, one part soap solution, and then two parts water. And then now you have your perfect organic solution to help your plants 
combat these pests and diseases. Here I have my pink lemonade Eureka lemon tree and it is covered with the butterfly worm and I really want to help it combat it because it could get really really out of hand and while I'm at it I'm gonna be treating all the rest of the trees as well. So something to keep in mind is you want to do this during the coolest time of the day because if you spray your plant and it's full blast sun outside it could possibly burn your leaves of your tree or your plant so to prevent that do it during the coldest or shadiest part of the day. Number two is you want to make sure that your weather is clear of rain for the past three days because you're going to be constantly spraying your tree for three days continuously. So you want to make sure that the plant stays dry constantly so the solution actually can work and stay in effect. Final thing is when you're watering your vegetables or fruit trees, water them at the base of the plant because if you water by overhead or you have a sprinkler system that waters overhead, the thing that could happen is that it can increase the problem and your whole point of doing this is to decrease the problem. So never water the foliage while it's in process of curing. So make sure that the entire canopy of the plant or the fruit tree stays dry constantly for next three days. So that's gonna be it for this video. My name is Emmanuel Arce. I'm a certified agriculturist here in South Florida. And never forget to grow roots, agriculturist. Bye.